Eddie Ray Routh did not react or move when he heard his fate. We, the jury, find the defendant Eddie Ray Routh guilty of the felony offense of capital murder as charged. A jury convicted the 27-year-old former Marine of the deaths of American sniper author Chris Kyle and his friend Chad Littlefield at a Texas shooting range two years ago. After the trial, families of both men embraced in relief, Littlefield's mother expressing gratitude. We just want to say that we've waited two years for God to, to get justice for us on behalf of our son. And as always, God has proved to be faithful. The trial gained international attention because Kyle's story was turned into an Oscar-nominated film about his time as a Navy SEAL. He became known as the most effective sniper in U.S. military history. Prosecutors argued Routh shot both men in cold blood in the back, a forensic expert saying neither Kyle nor Littlefield had a chance to defend themselves. He absolutely never saw this coming. Routh then stole Kyle's truck and led police in a high-speed chase later that day, finally surrendering. His lawyers told a jury these were the actions of an insane man who had changed for the worse after he left the Marines. Or was it because he was suffering from a severe mental disease or defect at that time? Routh had pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. Prosecutors responded by saying Routh's history of alcohol and drug abuse coupled with violent episodes showed he needed help, but he was able to tell right from wrong. He's gone to the well, the deep well of excuses for his violent behavior too many times. It's time for it to stop. Kyle's widow appeared at the trial earlier Tuesday, but abruptly left during the defense portion of closing arguments. She was not present for the verdict. Ralph will serve life in prison without the possibility of parole. His lawyers plan an appeal. John Moan, Associated Press, Stephenville, Texas.